Hey guys, welcome to another Year 11 Maths A lesson. Uh, today we're going to talk about volume, which is the amount of space contained in or occupied by a 3D object. So I'm, I'm going to draw the simplest 3D object, which is a cube. And let's look at how much space is contained in this cube. So this cube is going to have one centimeter on every side. So as you know about cubes, every side is the same length. So it's one centimeter on every side. And this cube is going to have a um, volume of one centimeter cubed. Right? So the volume of this cubed is one centimeter cubed. And therefore, uh, no matter what uh, shape, what 3D shape we're talking about, pretty much you can imagine finding the volume of a 3D shape as finding how many of these little cubes can fit in our uh, 3D shape. So, uh, for example, let's have a look at a rectangular prism. Now here is a rectangular prism and uh, let's say where I have 8 centimeters long, uh, 4 centimeters wide and 5 centimeters high. How many of these little cubes can fit in our um, rectangular prism? Well the first thing we do is we find out what the area is at the base. So the volume is equal to the base area uh, times the height and you'll see why in a second so the base area is 8 times 4 which is 32 now we haven't done the height yet but 8 times 4 is 32 now what that means is 32 of these little cubes will fit in the base of uh, the lowest level of this prism. All right, if I try to illustrate it to you here, the drawing is pretty bad, but you can imagine that um, 8 times 4, which is 32 of these little cubes, will fit on the bottom level of this shape. Now, the height is 5 centimeters. So what that means is 32 times 5, uh, there will be 5 uh, layers in this uh, 3D shape of these cubes. So 32 times 5 will be 160 centimeters cubed. So 160 of these little cubes will fit in this rectangular prism. So pretty much the, for a prism, The volume is uh, base area times height. This is the formula for finding the volume of a prism. Now here is another example of a prism which is the cylinder. Uh, both of its bases are circles. So the volume of a cylinder is still base area times height. Now if the base area is a circle so what we have is uh, pi r squared for the area of a circle times by the height of the prism. So let's say the radius uh, in this case is 6 centimeters and let's say the height was 8 centimeters. Then the volume of the cylinder will be pi times 6 squared times 8. Type all that in the calculator. So we have uh, pi times 6 times 6 times 8, which makes it 904.8 centimeters cubed. Now uh, let's do a triangular prism. So tri triangular prism is where the base is a triangle, so let's say this is the base and uh, we have uh, the height of the uh, prism 
and the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle which I'm going to label as little h and big H is the height of the prism little h is the height of the triangle so the volume of uh, a triangular prism volume of triangular prism is again base area times height now the base area is uh, the triangle so it's B times H divided by 2 or half BH the height of the prism is big H so let's say this triangle has a uh, base of three centimeters a height of four centimeters and the height of the prism is six seven centimeters so putting all that in the formula it will be half times three times four times seven put all that in the calculator so 0 0.5 times 3 times 4 times 7 and the answer will be 42 uh, centimeters cubed and the simplest one obviously is a cube so let's say I have a cube where each side is uh, let's say five centimeters on every side of the cube so the volume of cube will just be base area times height which is going to be five times five times five which is uh, 125 centimeters cubed so now we're going to talk about the volume of pyramids and uh, the formula for the volume of pyramids uh, becomes quite easy to understand when I show you a comparison between pyramids and uh, prisms now here are two shapes with the same base uh, and the same perpendicular height but one is a prism and one is a pyramid simply because for the prism at both ends uh, we have the same shape whereas for the pyramid at one end it's just a point now what you can see is for the prism the volume is base times base area times height right but for a pyramid the volume the amount of space inside this shape is going to be a lot smaller than the prism so it's still base area times height but because it's a lot smaller we're going to times it by a third so that is the formula for the volume of a pyramid it's a third times the base area times height so we're going to show you an example of how to find the volume of a square base pyramid now let's say the square base has a base of base length of uh, five centimeters and we also need the perpendicular height which is from the tip or we call the apex of the pyramid down to the uh, base of the uh, pyramid so this is the perpendicular height and also you can also draw that in the middle somewhere I'll use a different colored pen so from the apex down to the uh, base of the uh, prism so uh, let's say the perpendicular height is uh, 8 centimeters so the volume is a third times the base area times height the base area is a square which is 5 times 5 the height is 8 centimeters so putting that in the calculator 
Uh, so we have 1 divided by 3 times 5 times 5 times 8 and the answer is 66.7 so uh, 66.7 centimeters cubed now for a cone a uh, cone is also a type of pyramid so let's say the radius of the circle is uh, 3 centimeters and the height is uh, 8 centimeters so the volume is a third times the base area times the height now the base area is a circle so it's pi r squared times by the height which is uh, h big h um, so therefore we have a third oops times pi times 3 squared times 8 putting all that in the calculator so 1 over 3 times pi times 3 squared is 9 times 8 and the answer is 75.4 centimeters cubed rounded to one decimal place now the last shape we're going to do is a sphere and it's 4 divided by 3 times pi r cubed and uh, again the easiest way is probably just to memorize the formula so uh, let's say the radius of the sphere is 6 centimeters then the volume is going to be 4 over 3 times pi times 6 cubed so putting that in the calculator we have uh, 4 divided by 3 times pi times 6 times 6 times 6 and the answer is 904 point eight uh, centimeters cubed now we're going to talk about the conversion of units for volume and capacity now as you know we've been working with uh, centimeters cubed for volume so we need to be able to convert that to meters cubed and kilometers cubed as well as millimeters cubed so if we want to go from centimeters cubed well actually let's do meters cubed to centimeters cubed so if you imagine a cube with one meter on every side so it's one meter on every side so the volume of this shape is obviously uh, one one times one times one which is one meter cubed but one meter is equal to a hundred centimeters so the volume in terms of centimeters cubed will be a hundred times a hundred times a hundred which is one million centimeters cubed so what's happened is we have tripled the number of zeros originally we had one meter to a hundred centimeters so that's only two zeros now we have tripled the number of zeros to give us six zeros so putting all that into our ladder of conversion if we want to go from meters cubed to centimeters cubed we're going to multiply by a million now kilometers to meters cubed if you imagine originally we only had times by a thousand for kilometers to meters but now we're going to triple the number of zeros which is going to make it nine zeros 
All right, so one kilometer cubed is actually one billion meters cubed. Well, that's very a very big conversion. And then centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed. Originally, we just had times ten for the length, and then we're going to triple the number of zeros to times by a thousand. Now going back up the ladder from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you just divide by the same amount. Now capacity. Capacity deals with uh, the amount of solid, liquid or gas that the 3D shape can hold. And uh, basically we measure capacity in uh, kiloliters liters and milliliters and uh, if you remember uh, from kiloliters to liters the symbol K just represents a thousand so there is a thousand liters in a kiloliter so basically going down from kiloliters to liters we multiply by a thousand and if we go back up, we divide by a thousand. And liters to milliliters, again, we times by a thousand. And milliliters back to liters, we divide it by a thousand. Now, what is the link between volume and capacity? Well, all you need to do is memorize that one centimeter cubed is the same thing as one milliliter. Right, and once you know that, then you can pretty much switch between the two uh, units pretty easily. And uh, one meter cubed is one kiloliter, if you need to know that. But personally, I find the first one is more than enough for you to be able to convert between volume and capacity. Okay, so let's do some conversion questions. Okay, the first one, uh, 5,000 centimeters cubed to meters cubed. Actually, you should probably have a go before you come back and look at the solutions. So, centimeters cubed, we are at uh, this point of our ladder. And we want to go up to meters cubed, so we're going to divide by a million. So 5,000 divided by a million. Now, if you find it a bit hard to simply cross out the zeros and move decimal points, you can probably just put it in the calculator. 5,000 divided by a million is 0 0.005 meters cubed. Okay, the second one, all meters cubed to milliliters. So the first thing we want to do is convert the meters cubed to centimeters cubed because once we convert to centimeters cubed, we can then link it to capacity, which is one centimeters cubed is one milliliter. So 600 meters cubed, which is here in our conversion ladder, let me use a different color, which is here. And we want to go down to centimeters cubed, so we're going to times it by a million, which is going to give us uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, another six zeros. 600 million uh, centimeters cubed, which is 600 million milliliters, right? Because we've already established one centimeter cube is one milliliter. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on volume. See you next time.